Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Denali and I am a full-time reseller on eBay and Poshmark. You can find me at El Ducho, E-L-D-U-C-H-O. Those are my store and closet name. And then you can find me on Instagram at El Ducho Thrift. If you're not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button down below. And if you enjoy this video, give me a thumbs up. I do appreciate it. So today I'm back with another haul. I went to the Goodwill outlet Super Bowl Sunday, so just a few days ago, and I went before the Super Bowl. There was still quite a few people there, and I actually did really well. I think I only stayed for about an hour and a half. I'm not sure how many pounds. I know I got over 50 pounds of clothing, which bumped me into the next tier to get a discount. And then I got some shoes and accessories, handbags and stuff like that. So yeah, I think I paid, <laughs> I'm thinking all of this off the cup of my head, or off the top of my head, I think I paid like $88. I don't know how I just remembered all of that, but I just impressed myself. So uh, I will get started. I do have a couple of random items in this haul that I discovered that I never had, I had never shown them in a previous haul because I left it in my car or it was air drying somewhere after I'd hand washed it. So. I'm gonna show you what those items are as well and I'll tell you what they are or like, you know, that I got them at different times. So this is one of those items, <laughs> jumping into it. Oh, last thing I wanna say is if you're interested in purchasing anything from me, I will put my email in the description down below. Uh, you can reach out to me there. Sorry, there's all these fuzzies. You can reach out to me there um, with pricing information and questions like that. And if you purchase something from me before, I do appreciate it, thank you so much. Okay, so I think Ty and I got this one time when we were at the bins. Everything is from the Goodwill outlet. Um, this is like an old tag, like old label free people. Check that out. I don't even know when that's from. And it's really cool. It's kind of like, it reminds me of like a skater sweater from like the early 90s. I don't know what size this is and I don't think it's set up there on that tag which is not a big deal. Oh, here it is. It's a size large, but isn't this awesome? Yeah, so anyways, that was from a while ago. Um, okay, this, I bought it because it weighed like nothing and I wanted to see if I could get the stains out and I didn't, so I don't know that I'm gonna sell this. Like, I could sell it as flawed. I don't know. Let me know if you have any ideas of how to get the stains out. Anyways, this is an Everlane. This is a really great brand to pick up. This is a size small, I believe it's silk. Uh, you can't tell, but it's kind of like a peachy pink colored. But there are some pit stains. Yeah, you can see that now, right? I think this is silk. Yeah, it is. So, I don't know what to do about that. Might just chalk it up as a loss. This, I feel like I didn't get Super Bowl Sunday. I think I, Got it a different time. This is a Marc Jacobs top. Sorry, I'm trying to think about it. It's kind of got, I, I didn't show this in another haul, did I? If I did, I apologize. Anyways, it's just like a, kind of like a prairie theme. It's a size six and it did have some spots on it, but I think I, oh no, there's the spot still. Yeah, so. This one I still think I could get away with selling as flawed because I think somebody can get that stain out, but I'm not sure about the pit stain. I'm showing all the stain stuff first. Sorry, guys. <laughs> okay, this is still a little bit damp. I was air drying it. This is We The Free, which is free people. It's a size extra small waffle knit, kind of like thermal top with this cowl turtleneck. Anyway, that's cute that there. Okay, this is a Meadow Rue, which is Anthropology, size four. There's the label if you wanna see. This is super cute. It's like, I'm trying to think of what, just like a yellow, like almost like a mustard yellow, like a gold yellow. Anyways, three quarter sleeve blouse. This is a, I love this brand, or I love their stuff. It's a Kemi and Kin. And it's a size extra small. It's anthropology. It's kind of hard to see the label, but that's what it looks like. Top, kind of like a peasant top. 
I was gonna say is it three-quarter sleeve but I don't think it is anyways there's that this is Eileen Fisher and I feel like there was a flaw with it and so I hand washed it and I think I got the flaw out nope <laughs> there it is Hmm. I'm probably just going to sell it and disclose that flaw because I think somebody will still want this regardless. It is a size large. Okay. This is a, I never find this brand in general. And then obviously I'm not finding it at the bins, but it is vineyard vines. I just don't find it a lot here out on the West coast. It's a size small. I believe it's the men's, but yeah, just button down shirt button yeah it is buttoned down because see this is what makes it buttoned down when it actually has a button on the collar there so otherwise it's technically a button up but i think all of us list stuff as button down so if you're listing things that way it's okay that's okay with me i'm probably not buying your stuff but <laughs> um mostly just because i shop at the men's i'm not buying anybody's stuff okay this <laughs> is i'm zipping it up sorry it's an adidas track jacket can you see it's in pretty good condition I've sold these before they sell for a fairly good price it's a size large I think it's a men's yeah it needs to be a lint roll because there's some hairs on it but other than that it's in pretty good condition this is a prana jacket size medium let me zip it up so you can kind of get the full effect I also like zipping it up in the videos to be like this zipper works, right? <laughs> Saves me time later when I'm photographing. Okay. It's just like an athletic jacket, teal colored, flattering. Okay. This is a Ann Taylor Loft shirt, size small. So I actually got this because I was like, maybe I'll send it to thread up there's actually a few items that I've maybe already gone through here that I'm thinking of just sending to thread up and have them take care of um, so if you are interested in something let me know now because it's gonna get sent out I think this was another item that I'm thinking about sending a thread up it's a J crew sleeveless top it's J crew factory it's a size 4 it's factory and you know it's factory by the two little dots underneath the J crew there but it's super cute. Um, just curious the material of it. Oh, it's just polyester. Yeah, it's a size four. Okay, this I think I was gonna send a thread up because I don't wanna photograph it. It's a Zara woman basic collection, size medium. I think there's supposed to be a camisole that goes underneath it, underneath it but you know, it wasn't in the bin. But it's just got this really pretty uh, embroidery all over it. So, you know, why not? I've got a lot of stuff here, so I'm going to try and go faster. <laughs> this is a, I don't know how you say this, Desigual. I don't know if that's how you say it. De De Desigual. Um, shoot, I heard somebody say it on an Instagram story today. Whatever, I don't care. It's uh, a size medium. I like picking this brand up when I find it because people are into it. The first time I'd ever heard of this brand was when I went to Barcelona with my family. And I think it's a Spanish brand. So that all makes sense now, doesn't it? <clears throat> this is a Title IX dress. It's super pretty. I think this was one of the last things I grabbed when I was heading out of the bins. It's got this mock neck zips it's form fitting i don't know what the material is it feels like wool maybe extra fine merino wool 60 percent. so yeah this is an amazing condition and i love it okay next i have a madewell sweater this is a size extra small there's a lot of fuzzies on it it is a three-quarter sleeve so I don't know how much work I'm gonna put into it because I don't wanna put in too much. Yeah, it's 30% wool, but it is really cute. So somebody just needs to like massively sweater shave it and I don't wanna, I don't know if I wanna do it. Okay, this is a pair of Hey Hey, H-E-I-H-E-I, -E -E which is anthropology. 
Mm, you can't really see it that well. These are a size US 10. This is the second time I've found a pair of Hey Hey <laughs> pants in the bins. And they're very similar to the other ones that I grabbed. Oh my gosh, one of these legs is super wrinkly. I don't want to steam it. Oh, what is that? Braided pocket? That's cool looking. Anyway, they're like a stone gray. Vios is a pair of Banana Republic Jackson Fit size zero pants. And they are, oh, I thought maybe they were wool. They kind of felt like wool. But they're just really pretty looking. Um, so that's why I picked them up. I don't know how to describe the color. It's like a blue. Kind of reminds me of like something from the 70s. There is like a little bit of discoloration on the pant leg, which obviously I'll disclose, but they're in otherwise really good condition. They feel like they're kind of nicer, but I don't know. Okay, this is a pair of Prana. I was gonna say, are they little girls? But I don't know, they might just be like a women's extra small pant. <laughs> These are really small, so I kind of think they're, I think they're a girl's capri. Okay. This is a Marmot jacket, a kid's jacket. However, there's a lot of flaws to this baby. Um, can you see, you can, the color's kind of funky, but you can already see that discoloration there. I tried stain treating it, but I didn't put in a ton of effort. So this is a size small. I'm gonna let somebody else do the grunt work on it. These are a pair of mini Bowden pants. They're a size 6 Y, 6 youth. I'm not sure that this hole in the knee is intentional. However, I do think it gives a little bit of character to it. You know, I'll obviously take just a lower price for them. But I like picking up Bowden, mini Bowden, etc., etc. These are a pair of Patagonia shorts. They're a size women's 2. We're coming up on that outdoor season, so... Just a good item to pick up. This is a, well, I was gonna say made well, but it is made well. Highline tank top, medium. So Highline is under the family of brands of like J. Crew, made well, all that sort of stuff. You can find the style number as you do for J. Crew items for looking up stock photos or descriptions or anything like that. What else do we have? Oh, this is really cute. Nobody wanted this, whatever. It's a Mark by Mark Jacobs swimwear item. It's a size small and I think it's a skirt. At first I thought it was like a dress, but I kind of think it's just a skirt. And then it opens up here, you know, just kind of like a wrap style, but it's super cute. Okay. Okay, so I did, sorry, I just like want to fix my hair. I don't know what I want to do with it. I did spend a little bit of, no, I did spend time after I had filled my cart, I went over to the side and I like sorted through all my stuff, which I sometimes do and I sometimes don't. I really tried to check for holes and stains and I did look up comps on items and I threw quite a bit of stuff back. So this is an item I looked up comps for and now I can't remember what the comps were in my head. I'm going to show you the coat first. Just super cool looking, kind of has this like Western you know, style to it. It's called H Bar C Ranchwear. Maybe it's H C Bar Ranchwear, Bar H C Ranchwear. I don't know what it's called. Look it up. The comps off the top of my head, I want to say like 50 bucks off the top of my head. That's what I remember. So, you know, unique equals ugly equals money. So try and remember that phrase. <laughs> Okay, this is a Marmot puffer vest. It is flawed. Um, let me zip the zipper because otherwise it's just gonna look, look very crazy. But it does have some like paint markings on it, which potentially could just be scratched off and I don't really care to do that. I think whoever's gonna buy it can sit there and scratch it themselves because I tried to do it for a minute. But I did wash it and you know, just got some of the puff going inside of it. Okay. Sorry, I don't, I heard a yell. You probably can't hear it from there. It just snowed the other day here in Washington and everybody's just out playing in it. 
which is sometimes as a mom is a little frustrating because when you hear a child scream you automatically think someone's in trouble but it's also like a scream of joy sometimes so you always have to be on high alert <laughs> so this brand is called Nikita it says designed in Iceland made in China I did look up comps on it on eBay there wasn't a whole lot for me to look up but I saw it was a good brand to resell. I want to say it was like maybe th around 30. Could have been higher. This is a size medium. I just thought it looked really cool too. So it's just like a pullover top with a hoodie. And the hoodie kind of has this extra long neck. I don't know. And it says Nikita on there. At first I was like, is this somebody's item? And they just had their name embroidered on it. But no. I did find a lot of Levi's at the bins when I was there on Saturday. I don't pick up all Levi's, but I do pick up interesting items. So I generally like to pick up Levi's 501s if they are cool or unique looking. So these are the ones that I picked up that I thought were cool or unique looking. So the first pair, here we go, Levi's 501 and I always like to look to see if there's a capitalized E there because that does mean that they are worth more money. This one is not capitalized E. It does have some paint on here, which actually is kind of a little liquidy. It would probably peel off if I sat here and did it. Again, I don't think I want to do it. They are a, sorry, I'm tucking in the pocket. They do have a button fly, which sometimes people like those. And they are just like a straight pant leg style. And then there's some discoloration there. So these ones aren't like my best example, but I've got more coming. Okay, there's literally like a pile of like eight pairs of jeans there that I'm staring at. So here's another pair that were interesting. If you watched any of my videos before, at least in one of them I talk about Levi's and how some are worth more than others. There's a great documentary you can watch called Blue Gold blue gold. It's on Netflix. If you want to learn more about denim, that's what's going to help you out. So these Levi's, they are, I don't even know the style number, but I thought the stamped leather tag was kind of interesting and different. And then check out instead of, there's a little stain there, instead of a red tab, there's a leather tab. So that's interesting. And I need to do a little bit more research into that. There is this like I don't know, would you have a cough drop in there or something? <laughs> and maybe like a little bit of a hole there. But that didn't stop me from picking them up. Additionally, if I had any question about grabbing them, I also saw this, which says Levi's for men. So this is obviously a vintage tag. Again, just another reason for me to grab them. Um, yeah, because there's a Levi's buyer out there who probably wants these. Okay. So the next pair of jeans that I have are not Levi's. This was a new to me brand. It's called Edwin. And these are a men's, uh, men's brand for jeans. I did look up the comps on them because they felt really nice. They're very heavy. They're size, sorry, I know I'm not saying the sizes on these, but I don't think you guys want the Levi's. <laughs> these are a 20, 29.32? Yeah, they're 29.32, these men's Edwin jeans. They are straight legs. So if you've not heard of them, I did look up comps. I want to say 50. I can't remember. Sorry. I'm trying to like remember comps to tell you guys because I know that that's useful and you don't want to look it up. <laughs> so I thought I would try and do that. Okay. These I'm now noticing a hole in them, but that's probably fine. I'm still going to sell them anyway. And obviously I'm going to disclose the flaw. These are a pair of Adriana Goldschmied. They are maternity jeans. Um, it says on the tag here, pee in the pod. The style is the angel. I'm seeing that there's a little, can you see there's a hole right there in the, this is like a belly band is what this is called, but I'm gonna still sell them. I don't think that's too big of a deal. There is some loose strings here, which I will cut. So Adriana Goldschmied is just in general, a great brand to pick up. Um, so the fact that they wear maternity, you know, that didn't phase me. And keep in mind, all my stuff is from the bins. You have to think like, what am I paying on average for each item? On average, all of this, what, 60 cents maybe per item? Okay, so this is Bonobos, but no, Bonobos. <laughs> I had to think about how to say it, Bonobos. And 
I hadn't heard of this brand till my friend Hillary had said it was a brand worth picking up. These are 3232 men's. I think they do make some women's items. They're a dark rinse. However, I recently listened, I like listening to podcasts, and there's a podcast called How I Built This uh, with Guy Raz. It's a really great podcast. It's on NPR, but you can also download the podcast, obviously. And it's about entrepreneurs, successful entrepreneurs, and he interviews somebody different, and it's how they built their brand. And so Bonobos was a recent one. It was a really great episode because the guy who currently runs it and kind of started it didn't really start it. It was not his idea to start that company. So it was just a different perspective on how a business got started from somebody who wasn't the creative genius behind it. I recommend listening. Okay, next up is a pair of Hudson jeans. I pick up Hudson sometimes. This is a size 29. There is some intentional distressing on here. I pick up Hudson when they have this flap pocket on here because that is something that people do look for. The material is worn, well, I was gonna say thin, but it's kind of like a jegging, stretchy material. So now I'm actually not too worried. I was gonna say that they're a little worn, but I think it's intentional. But do you see there's like, oh, <laughs> I feel weird looking through here. But there's a lot of distressing on here. So anyways, uh, Hudson. Okay, this is a pair of Madewell jeans. There will be a style number on here because it is the J. Crew family brand. They are a skinny leg. I'm like, let me see if I can hold them up. What, sometimes they say what the style is. It says skinny low. They are a 2832. Those are super cute. Is there any, no, there's like no distressing. There's just some whiskering on the front. Okay, this might be the last pair of jeans. Yes, so I'm getting a little, a uh, little different flavor of a lot of Levi's to show you guys. So this is kind of fun. Oh, I have another pair of pants after this, but they're not Levi's, I don't think. <laughs> so these are a pair of Levi's red tab, or orange tab. <laughs> so it's uh, just an orange tab instead of a red one. These are still sought after. Like a good pickup is what I'm trying to say. Um, these are a size 34. 34 and there is no style I'm not seeing a style number but anyways um yeah so if you see orange tab these are intentionally or unintentionally rather distressed so this is going to eat a little bit at the value of them because somebody has cut them there and then added this funky patch so maybe a buyer who wants to make cutoffs out of these will get them and then they'll cut that part off. Or I don't know, maybe they'll salvage them in some other way. You can probably take that patch off and get creative with it. These are a pair of the least impressive, but they're just gap jeans. I can't see the tag, but it's a size 30 regular. It says easy legging, so they definitely have some stretch to them. They're just black, skinny. You know, it's something I would wear, so I grabbed it. This is, it's missing the little red tag or ribbon which is in my laundry room, but it's just a little girl's jimbery dress. It's a size five. I just thought it was so cute. And it's got a red ribbon that goes around there, very patriotic. And as much as it's crazy to think about like 4th of July and stuff or Memorial Day, that sort of thing. Those are things that people look for. I'm gonna set my accessory bag to the side here and finish up with the clothes. Okay, so this is inside out. Let me try and do this real quick. But this is a vintage dress that I picked up. I don't think there's any tags on it it's possibly homemade just reminded me of like the mid to late 90s can you see this like flower print it's like a midi with like a sweetheart neckline Ooh, that's pretty probably would fit me do you see this um yeah so i saw it in the bin and i had to save it so i don't think there's any tags on it but it looked like it would fit me so it's probably like a 14 or 16. This, I was surprised nobody wanted this, but it's a Dickies jacket. It's very similar to the Carhartt ones that I like to pick up. It's a size large, super heavy duty. Yeah, I don't know what to say. It's just a size large with the Sherpa lining. So yeah, that's all I got. 
<laughs> These are a pair of Armani Exchange pants. They are a size 33 regular and they are linen. These are gonna need a steam because I washed them. Um, and what's nice actually is there's like a layer, like a liner in here that goes about like shorts length. So, because they're white and they're see-through. So it's kind of nice that they thought of that part to save people from having their butt showing. Okay, this next dress, I don't even remember what this is, but it's just so weird that I had to grab it. The brand is Marley <laughs> and Chunky. Here we go. Uh, I don't know if I looked it up. It might be a boutique brand. It's so weird, but I had to grab it. Okay, so this needs to be like laced and tied into a pretty bow. Da, 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 da. And then check this weird stuff out. Okay, right? I mean, yeah. What is that? Oh, that's another flower down there. It's very romantic looking. I don't know. Oh, I don't even know what size it is. Probably a medium or large. It's a 1XL. Huh, who knew? Okay, the next items are kind of weird, but they were new with tags. And then I kind of looked them up and I was like, you know what? That's like an easy, probably $15, $20. So I grabbed them. But they're just some mature ladies, crafty looking vests. The brand, this one is Bobby Brooks. It's new with tags. It is not the season to be wearing this, but maybe somebody's got like an ugly sweater party in July. There is another one in here, but I'm it's not here right now, so whatever. You'll see it eventually. This is a bikini top. This is just from Target, but I kind of thought Again, just thinking about Memorial Day, 4th of July, stuff like that. This is the sort of thing that somebody would want. You don't need to have the bottoms because people like to mix, mix and match. You know what I mean? Ever since that became a thing. People like to mix and match, so don't worry about that part. Okay, this is a Geiger wool skirt. This is a size 38. Unfortunately, it doesn't have like a really fun print on it like other Geiger skirts that I've picked up. So that's too bad, but it's still in good condition. I have yet to see a hole so there's that okay this i have a dress in these same colors and i really loved it and i think i sold it so i'm debating if i should just keep this for myself but it's just a lularoe top and it's got this baby blue and baby pink stripes in it it's a size large it's just like i don't know what style that one they call irma maybe it's an irma this is a penguin men's shirt just blue and white. I do like picking up men's items, obviously. Look at, this is about to fall on me. <laughs> Push. Okay, this I picked up, I may send to, what's it called, throw it up. <laughs> it's an Eddie Bauer denim jacket. It is a size extra large, a dark wash. Allegedly they're accepting those right now, so yeah. Here's another one. This one's Aeropostale. It's a size medium. So if you're interested, try and beat me to the punch of when I send it out. Okay, the next one is a kimchi blue, size medium. I don't know if this is like, I don't think it's a dress. I think it's just like a top, a little baby doll top. Sorry, that's the tag poking out. Kimchi blue. That is sold at Urban Outfitters. It's just like a baby blue little baby doll top. Uh, that's not a dress. It's not a dress, in my opinion. Okay, this is a, uh, what, Rio? Sorry, it's super bright. Rio, 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 I can't. Rio Rao, I don't know. It's a size small. It is uh, anthropology. Just little coral and white striped top. These are Patagonia Capri pants size small. You know what Patagonia looks like. They're Capri. Put those there. Well, um, this is, I can't remember if I looked this up. I feel like it's good. It's Bendetta B. It's a size small sweater. I feel like it's good, but I don't know guys. I picked it up because yeah, it's 48% merino wool, 7% cashmere. It's real cute. Just polka dot sweater. Okay. Oh, God. 
there's a little bit more clothes. Okay, this is a J. Crew men's shirt. Nothing special, just a size medium. Put that back there. <clears throat> okay. This is a, okay, this is a bolo. It's Mang Design. It is 100% linen. The size is a size large. It's just like a button down linen shirt. You know, I like picking up those. It is gonna fall under Lag and Luck. L-A-G-E-N-L-O-O-K. If you're not familiar with Lag and Look, Lag and Look it up. Uh, this is, oh, I got excited when I saw this, even though it's like old as heck, but it's Gianni Versace. I believe these are a men's pants, size 50. They are wool. And what is this, like a herringbone print? I don't know what you call this. They're brown and ivory. There's a little fuzz on there, but you know, I got excited when I saw that. Okay. Next, I got another bolo for you. Tricot's Saint Raphael, size large, men's sweater. I think it's men's. I can't remember what comps are. If I had to guess, thirty to fifty dollars. So there you go. Okay, this this is a great reason to not use gloves at the bins because I felt this and it just felt nice. There appeared to be no tags on it. It's just this gauzy top with embellishments and embroidery on it. I then, you know, there's a couple of like loose pulls down here, some flaws that I'll obviously disclose, but I looked on the inside tag and it said, Yoana Barashi, which is sold uh, sometimes at Anthropology, but this brand sells really well for me. Like the comps are really good. So, you know, always good to be looking up everything and really reviewing each item. Okay, this is a Sparrow, which is Anthropology. Sorry if you can't see that. Size medium cardigan, it's super cute. Where's the sleeve? Ta-da! And it does. it is belted in the back. I know you can't really, I'm like, how do you display this? I could put it on, because it does look like it's big enough that it would fit me, but anyways, I just figured you know, somebody's gonna wear that on at a beach bonfire, right? Okay, next, eels. What is this? Oh, I think I just grabbed it because it's new with tags. Maybe I'll send it to thread up. I'm not gonna unfold the whole thing, but it's just a Nautica scarf, and it's just new with tags, which you can't see. Somebody's yelling downstairs in my house. <laughs> okay, next is, oh, it's a Pendleton pair of pants. I don't know what size they are because it looks like somebody ripped it off. They're just, they're not anything too special. They're just black wool Pendleton pants. I don't yet see any holes in them. Time will tell. But just like a black wool dress pant. Okay, I think this is another bolo for you. This is Nina McLemore. Ooh, I wish I had the comp to tell you because I feel like this one's really good. So just look it up after we're done talking here or as we talk. It's 100% wool. This is a size 8. That's what the tag looks like. Nina McLemore. But it's just a really pretty coat. <laughs> I, I wish I knew what it was. I'm sorry, guys. Just look it up, okay? <clears throat> okay, this is a Vince cardigan. The... Tag is like a little bit loose there, but that's not a deal breaker. It's a size small. It is, it's kind of flawed. It's, no, it's for sure flawed, I'm sorry. There's weird holes in the armpits, <laughs> which I didn't notice until later when I was like washing it, or not washing it, but like sorting through stuff. But it's so pretty anyways that I'm like, maybe somebody will like want to fix that. Cause there's not really any other problems with it. Yeah. Okay, this is Eileen Fisher. It's a size medium. It's a really pretty coat with, it's ivory with this embroidery on it. I know that the color is sometimes hard to see, but it's in great condition. And you know, I was having such a great day there. Like I said, an hour and a half finding like all of this stuff that had been sitting in a bin, like looked over. It's so crazy. Like everybody just wants different stuff. That's why you can't freak out about like, oh, there's a lot of people here right now doesn't matter that there's a lot of people there. It doesn't mean that they want the same stuff that you do. Okay, here's another bolo for you. The brand is called Curiel. I believe this has been sold at Anthropology before. Uh, it's a size small, just a chunky knit, like 
sweater, jacket, cardigan, <laughs> whatever you want to call it. This next one is Free People. It's a size medium. I really like this. Look at the colors on this. Why nobody wanted this in the bin? I have no idea. I'm trying it on. If I can get it on. It's a medium. You know that SNL skit? What is it? Like fat guy in a little coat? That's what I felt like right there. Oh God, this is not gonna, I thought this would, oh, well, maybe. Okay, well, there you go. It does button down here in the front. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna test the limits, but now I gotta take it off. But it's super cute. It's like an avocado color green. Okay, this, I can't remember if I looked up the comp. Sorry, I just wiggled my legs and it did that. It's, the brand is Monsoon. It's a European size 44, which means nothing to me off the top of my head. I'm guessing it's like maybe a large or a 14 or something. It's, I don't know, it's just got, gave me some boho vibes. I thought it was cute. Monsoon. Know anything about it? Put it in the comments. Thank you. <laughs> okay, um, last clothing item, I believe, is just a random bra. <laughs> this is just Old Navy. It's a size large. What a way to go out, right? Um, I'm not done. Do not turn this off. I got more stuff. Now we do the fun part, which is accessories. So, um, but anyways, I just thought that was a cute basic top. Oh, and here's that other unique, ugly vest. <laughs> the brand is called Fritzy Sport. It's a size large with gingerbread men, and it is brand new. There was tons of Christmas stuff, including that in this bin. I probably could have taken all of it. I just didn't want to, because it was, you know, it's February, December. How long do I have to hold on to it? Things I don't want to think about. Okay, so this bag of tricks that I'm holding right here, this is some stuff from a haul from a couple weeks ago that I forgot to show you, so I'm gonna show you what's in here. Here is a Vera Bradley bag, new with tags, found it at the bins, originally priced $58, then somewhere for $40, and now me for like nothing. I'm gonna put that to the side. Okay, here is a Hobo. Oh, this is, didn't my mom give me one of these? Or was it a Brighton one? Oh, this one's really cute. This one's like new. A little Hobo wallet. And it has this little thing here that holds down your cards. It's really cute, it's like metallic. Hobo, you know I love picking it up. It sells so quickly. Oh, this is like, this is a knockoff Hobo wallet. Usually I don't pick up the knockoffs. However, this is actually a good brand, so I did. Uh, Kenneth Cole, New York. Otherwise, my Fitbit's going off. You have seen me all. I am not moving or walking. So what's interesting is it does have these magnetic pieces here, but the magnification is not strong at all. At all, at all. I can feel it. There is a magnet in there. I'm like, I wonder if there's a way you can like, can you spark <laughs> the magnet? Huh, where's the other one on this side? Did it move? Yeah, it's down here. Huh. Okay, maybe I won't be selling it. Oh gosh, oh, it's stuck to something. Okay, well, I'm gonna work on this one. Okay, well, it's in really nice condition. That's unfortunate. I don't know, if you want it, I'll sell it to you for really cheap and you can, you can fix it. This is a Kevu canvas wallet. There's just a little bit of scuffing or wear there. Kevu is a Seattle brand. And let's see, I've got a North Face hat here. It is wool, super cute. And what is this? Oh, this is a fossil, like little cosmetics bag. This is awesome. It's kind of squishied, but anyways. Fossil Cosmetics bag. Okay, this was really fun to find. This is, oh, there's a dime. Sweet, I already, I've already, look, it's my first dime, guys. I'm already making money. So this is a Soul Society bag. Actually just got one of these, a uh, very similar one of these for Christmas from my mom and dad. And <laughs> I had told her, cause they're expensive. They're like $100, 70 or $100 bags. And I told her, I was like, oh gosh, don't buy me that. I can find that at the bins. And I was kind of like half joking. And here I am a month later and I found one at the bins. This one, you know, it is flawed somewhere at the bottom, right? Okay, so there's that. Not a big deal. Like, oh, okay, wait, there's that too. <laughs> Again, still, I don't think it's a huge deal because I feel like I can wipe 
some of those scuffing off. And then other than that, that's just, okay. I mean, the bag got a little beat up, but still a great bag overall. Resale on these is still really high because I looked into it because I didn't want my mom paying so much money for a bag. I ended up keeping because it, I ended up keeping it because I thought, just treat yourself for once, Denali. Just take something nice. Okay, I found another free people bag. Again, lotting those up, gonna sell them. I don't know why I grabbed this, but I did. They are boot warmers from Harvey Bernard. There is a $3.99 price sticker on those. I don't know what I'll do with that. Maybe I'll send it to thread up. Okay, this says unique vintage on here. So that watermelon dress, if you watched my haul like a month or so ago, um, the unique vintage, it, the watermelon dress is the brand unique vintage. So maybe I'll just send this to them for free, especially if it sells on Poshmark because I don't have to worry about the weight, but it's just a really cute translucent bag, which translucent bags are actually really great for summertime because concerts, events, and all that sort of stuff. Now a lot of venues are requiring or asking that people bring translucent bags with them. Just food for thought there. Why not? They're new in box or package. Calvin Klein body shaper pantyhose. Um, what else do I got here? Maybe I'm keeping this. I don't know. <laughs> it's just like a vintage fanny pack. It says Rio on here. Rio by Gam Gambrelli. I might keep it for me. Um, this is a Stella and Dot uh, iPad case, leopard iPad case. I think it's for like the original iPad. A hobo wallet because you know I can't resist these. Ooh, there's like a hair. I'm obviously gonna clean this up. So anyways, this one comes with a free hair. The coloring, look, it's bluier. Uh, yeah, I mean this is, this one's beat up. But if you've watched any of my other videos, you know that I say even on a bad day, a hobo wallet can sell for 20 bucks. That is an example. Okay, and then a Vera Bradley bag, because y'all know I picked those up, black and white. And I do have something else in here that I'm gonna talk about at the very end. So if you stay all the way to the end, there's like a little nugget coming. So set that to the side. And then I put everything in this Ikea bag, which I found. It's like an Ikea food bag. I kinda like it. Maybe I'm just gonna keep that for myself. Okay shoes and then my nugget and then we're done okay these are kind of messed up but man maybe somebody can bring them back to life because i'm not going to do the grunt work on these but they're really cool these are melissa's which are like jelly type shoes like it smells good that's weird i don't know why it smells good <laughs> they're vivian westwood i can't read what that says plus melissa can you see that I did look up comps on these and they were good enough for me to purchase and take the risk because again, I'm shopping at the bins. The cost is very low. They don't look like they've been used that much. They're a size uh, US 7. However, they do have, can you see? Do you see? It's like in the jelly, there's like this discoloration and I don't know how you get it out. I don't know how you get that out. It's not so much in this one. It's more in this one. Can you see these spots? But anyways, they were so cute. I thought this lady who was standing at the bin with me was gonna grab them and she didn't, which was awesome. Okay, I also thought she was gonna grab these and she didn't. These are Jewels, which is um, like a British brand. These are probably my size, but I'm not gonna try them on because you know what happens then. Mm -mm -mm -mm. They're, oh no, they're US 9. They are lined, there is like a fur lining in here. These are super cute. <laughs> but they're just like little rain, polka dot rain shoes. There's those. I grabbed these because they were so cute. They are Adidas, Ortho Light. Sorry, they're banded together and I'm not gonna unband them because I'm lazy. Kids, what are they? A US 9 kids, just a little, Little teeny tiny Adidas shoes. Dance goes, there is a match for this, but I pick up dance goes as long as they're in mildly good condition. Um, you know, that's anywhere from like 
25 to 75 dollars um these are picolinos i picked up a pair of picolinos in a recent haul of mine they're in good condition i do have a match for that <laughs> oh sorry the picolinos are a size 37 and these dance goes are a size we don't know they're a size 40. Here's another pair of dance goes. I do have a match for this one as well. These ones are also in good condition. They're size 38. Look at those. Like these ones, they don't even look worn. So I grabbed those and I did grab one single. I probably could have looked hard enough to find the other one, but I don't care because I'm going to sell it as a single. But it's a Tory Burch flip flop with a tag that they wrote on at some point. Um, somebody might want these that is replacing one shoe, is an amputee, wants to deconstruct these and do something with the materials. I have no idea. In terms of sizing, I don't know. Uh, they wrote an eight. I don't know if it's an eight. I will measure it. Zappos does have a chart. You can run the number against, oh, I can kind of, no, it doesn't say the size there though. So anyways, that's that. Last and not least, I got a bunch of Ipsy bags. So this isn't groundbreaking, as you know. <laughs> However, you know I collect these with the intention of lotting them up and selling them. I actually have a bunch on the ground. Hold on, wait for it. Hold on, I got more. Wait for it. Okay, here we go. There. Is that a thumbnail? Okay, so I have a bunch of Ipsy bags that I've been collecting. Now, my plan was to take these and put them at auction or, you know, buy it now. I, have, I think I have some listed, so I need to end them. But I recently discovered my friend on Instagram, Valerie. I think her Instagram name is Style by Valerie. She tagged me in another Instagram page, and it's called uh, Ipsy... Oh shoot, I'm gonna put it in the description. I tried memorizing it before I did this. I think it's Ipsy Bag Give Back or something. I'm gonna put it in the description down below. However, um, this girl, she's a reseller. She is collecting these bags and then she is filling them with feminine hygiene products. And then she is donating them to uh, high school aged girls in areas where they might not have access to feminine feminine hygiene products uh, at the ready or easily. And so, yeah, so I saw that and I thought, I'm really grateful that Valerie tagged me in that. It's a great cause. It is women supporting women. She is also collecting donations. I will put, I think she's like some sort of uh, I'm, I'm like, I don't know if it's a GoFundMe. I was trying not to use those words, but a GoFundMe type account to raise money to buy the feminine hygiene products. And then I am going to be sending my bags to her. This is also something you can do. Otherwise, she is just buying them on eBay, which comes out of her own pocket or out of the money that she's raising. However, I figured I can help and do my part because I find these for almost nothing and it's going to a great cause and so yeah so that's where I want my money to go so if you're interested in learning more about that I'm gonna put it down below in the description please do check it out because it is an awesome cause that's all I have for you guys if you made it to the end of the video thank you so much please give me a thumbs up on your way out I do appreciate it and I'll talk with you guys soon thanks bye